Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today let's talk about Cyberpunk 2077 DLC Phantom Liberty. I've tried to install it several times without success because it always crashes. I think I've got it now. So when you get the folder, uh, the game files, the installation, I've got two EXEs. So you've got the build EXE and you've got the red mod build. And then you've also got an update. So it's a patch. So before I actually installed them sequentially. So I installed the build and then red mod build and then the patch without loading the game. I think this time I've just installed the build and I'm going to run the game. I'm going to run the game. So I've just installed it. So let me just close it. Okay, close it. And then I'm going to locate my game. So go to compact data. Okay, and modify. So this was installed 21 minutes ago. So I'm pretty sure it's here. So the prefix folder, drive C, GOG games, cyberpunk, bin, x64. So this is where my game is, the exe. I'm going to copy this location. Then I'm going to change the target. So change the target after I just installed it. So paste and then click the tick, choose Cyberpunk 2077, and then make sure you add the quotation marks at the front and at the end. And then put the directory and start in, make sure that's okay. All right, let's run the game. So before I like installed the game, without running the game, I just installed the red mod and also installed the patch. And then when I run the game, it crashes. I think there's some corruption there. It corrupted the files. I think maybe you have to run the game. It Maybe it generates some files before you can update those patches. That's what I'm guessing. Okay, so let's just run the game first. So it is a brand new install of the Phantom Liberty DLC. So you can see. Okay. okay. We got into the game. Okay, so it is the Phantom Liberty. You can see, you can see the credits here. I've got Phantom Liberty. Yeah, I think it's it is the latest one. Okay, I'm gonna change the settings because by default it should be on Ultra. Yeah, I'm gonna change it to Steam Deck, and then I'm gonna change the motion blur off. Apply, and then video. I'm going to change it to the resolution. I'm going to change it to, yeah, the Steam Deck one. 1280 by 800. Okay. Okay. Done. Okay, let's get out of it. Let's get out of the game. So I don't have any saves yet. So I want to use my old save. So what I'm going to do is, my old save is on my Wii mod. So this is my Wii mod um prefix folder so if i go to proton tricks you can check it here see non-steam shortcut Wii mod 25822 yeah it's this one yep so this is where my saves are yep these are where my saves are and this is my current game so i'm going to go to drive c users steam user save games cd project red yeah this is where my current I'm going to delete this, delete this, and then I'm going to drag this over here and create a link. So now it's linked. So next time I open it, I should be able to load the saves. Okay. Okay, and also I'm going to install, I'm going to install Cyber Engine Tweaks because it just got a new update. It's got a new update, it supports Phantom Liberty. Let's see, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to install this as well. See here, it says Phantom Liberty 2.0 RC. So it's a release candidate used at your own risk. I think they're still testing stuff out. But yeah, download this. I've already got it downloaded. Uh, it's on my 
downloads here phantom this is my the zip file okay so i'm going to install it i'm going to install it into the game folder so gog games cyberpunk yeah i'm going to drag it here drag the bin here okay done and then you go here go to uh, proton tricks go inside the cyberpunk and then we have to install some dependencies and also we have to install a DLL override. All right, just follow me if you don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so select default wine prefix. And the first thing we go to wine config, run wine config. And then here, go to the libraries tab. Here, new override for library, type version. Type version, add that's the first step okay and then here install a windows dll or component okay so first thing we need to tick is the d3d compiler 47 and then go all the way down to vc run yeah vc run 2022 okay okay and then don't panic it looks like nothing's happening it's running on the background don't worry just wait for it Gotta pop out soon. Okay, come on. Starting to panic. Did I mess up? No. Okay, see, it pops out. Install. Close. You have to install it twice, the VC run. That's the Visual C. One is the one x86 and one is the x64. Okay, so this is the second one. Install. Close. Done. Cancel, cancel. And then let's run the game again. All right. See this? You got the, something to bind your, your toggle key. So I'm gonna you bind the key here. All right. So see now you've got a toggle. Yeah, I can toggle it on and off. So the Cyber Engine Twix works for the latest Phantom Liberty DLC. So that's very good. You can actually with this with the Cyber Engine Twix we can spawn like money. We can spawn weapons, legendary weapons, and all that. I'll show you in action. But you have to type command. I'll leave a link in the description for all the commands that you could use. Like, okay, let's see if we can load our saves. See if it works. Yeah, we, we got the continue. See here? Okay, continue. Okay, let me check. Uh, let me check. I'm going to spawn a katana. Okay, so I'm going to spawn a katana. An iconic one. It's called... It's called... Um, What's it called? Cocktail stick. Okay. But honestly, Let's try it. Quite the power try it out. Wonder what Militech will respond with. Maybe Myers will fly a rust bucket B-17 flying fortress over Arasaka HQ. Let's get out of the car. Okay. So if you take a look at my inventory, I've got this katana. It's a tier one katana. Okay. And. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna spawn it here. So toggle your cyber engine tweaks, go to console, and then here you type command. Okay, let's try it out. It's case sensitive. So game dot add to inventory and then bracket quotation marks items dot preset underscore katana underscore cocktail so i'm getting the cocktail katana and then close the quotation comma one close bracket enter okay you see here looted cocktail stick all right i think i got it all right it's here see here I just got a new weapon, cocktail stick, iconic. All right, yeah, that's how you do it. 
that's how you do it. So yeah, it's very useful. It's very useful. I see I've got a new katana, an iconic katana. Okay, let's try Wii mod. All right, let's quit out of this. Quit game. Okay. Okay, so I've got Wii mod installed onto my Steam Deck as a non-Steam game. So if you don't know how to install Wiimod, I've got videos up for that. You can check that out. I'll leave a link in the description and I'll also put a shortcut here, uh, a card on top. You can click the card to watch that. It's pretty hard to install. So yeah, get prepared. It's not easy. A lot of people like watch the video and they also still have problems. Okay, so I've got Wiimod loaded and then I'm going to choose Cyberpunk here. Okay, I'm going to change the location because I've moved the game. I just, it's a new install. So I'm going to go to here, uh, home, deck. Then here I'm going to type dot steam because it's a hidden folder. You can't search, you can't uh, click it here. So you just type dot steam. Okay, now I'm inside the hidden folder. Steam, steam apps, compact data. Okay, I forgot where my game is. So my game is 2260. 606, 22606, okay, 22606, okay, should be this one. Okay, prefix, drive C, GOG games, cyberpunk, bin, x64, cyberpunk 2077.exe. Okay, done. Okay, let's run the game. Let's run the game. So someone said that they uh, used Wiimod and they could like, Increase the perk points, but they can't actually use it. So let's demonstrate that we can. So the game's running, but you can see on the top here, it's still loading mod. That, that means it's not working yet. In, I think you need to go inside the game before this, this part changes to playing. You need, you need to be playing before you can toggle the cheats. Okay, press B to continue. I'm using keyboard and mouse at the moment. Okay, so continue. See at the top there, it's still saying loading mods. You need to load into the game and then it will change to playing. See, and now it's playing. That means that I could toggle the, the cheats now. Some local Let's check them out. Harpoon it for scientific reasons. Okay. Get out of the car. Okay. So character. See, you can see I've got six perk points at the moment, right? So what's the toggle for perk points? So I'll... Let's check it out. Uh, edit perk points. Okay, here it is. F8. F8. So, I'm going to press F8 one time. And then let's check out my perk points. I oh, see, I've got 10. Okay, I'm going to press it one more time. F8. It doesn't immediately change. Now, if I back out and go back in, see I've got 20. Alright, and then I'm going to press it again. F8. Okay, so 30. So let's try to use the points. So body... Yeah, you can see that I'm using the points. No problem. No problem using the points. Yeah, so no problems. Easy. It's working. And then let's say I want to um, add money. See, I got $33,000. So I'm going to press the toggle button. See, I got 10,000. Press it one time again. Oh, see, 30,000. Press it again. 40,000. Press it again. 50,000. Yeah. So, yeah, the, the Wii mod definitely works. No problem. Okay, let's quit the game. Let's quit the game. And 
now you can install the the red mod red mod and the patch so once you play but i i suggest you do it one by one so you install red mod uh, and then play the game a bit and then quit the game and then install the patch yeah that that works because if you do it all at once it crashes the game so yeah there you have it so i hope this video helped you out if it did please leave a like and subscribe uh, i think i'll be spending a lot of time playing this game i think this is the ultimate already i've got all i want so i've got the game i've got the wii mod cheats working i've got the cyber engine if i want to spawn some items like weapons and stuff uh even clothes and all that i can do all that so i've got to spend some time i'll probably be offline for a while so hope you enjoyed so see you around later